Very often people think of deserts as really hardship life and like tents and rattlesnake. But the essence of Palm Springs is providing pleasure. My mother moved us here in the early 70s, and I was starting high school, which was really difficult. Palm Springs back then literally would close up in the summertime, so, you know, there would be aluminum foil in the windows, restaurants were gone, and my mom texts my sister and I, you know, smack dab in, you know, the middle of July, and it's like, this is your new home, girls. The house was actually put together exactly like this, the furniture, the carpet, the drapes. It still, to me, has that romance. This is a very emotional house. It has its own personality. What you have to understand about architecture in Palm Springs is when these houses were built, season was November to April. It's only in the past 20 years that Palm Springs has become a year-round resort. So it was more about like fun than function. So in the residential neighborhoods of Palm Springs, you can't build more than one story tall. That is so no one blocks anybody's view of the mountains and no one can see into your backyard. Because the mountains are so vertical and so much in the foreground, the architectural response was, rather than conflict with the mountains, defer to the mountains. And you can see how the diagonal lines of the roof play off against the diagonal lines of the mountain ridge behind it. So the architects wanted to create a seamless flow between indoors and outdoors. The Albert Frey House was built in 1964, and Albert was the first modern architect to practice in Palm Springs. Albert spent 25 years in the lower part of the valley looking up into the mountains. He studied the sun, he studied the way the weather uh, patterns moved, and then he decided he wanted to live up in the mountains. So the house is basically centered on that enormous rock that protrudes through the house. And the most interesting thing about the Frey House is its unity. It's like very much one with its site and it's very much one unto itself. It's almost like a boat. When Albert passed away in 1998 at the age of 95, he bequested the Frey House II to the Palm Springs Art Museum. We have a museum that's committed to art, design, and architecture and their intersection in this wonderful, cultural, thriving community. Palm Springs for me is almost like a time capsule in many ways because it's been so beautifully preserved and protected because of the commitment from our community. And so that has attracted scholars, artists, designers, architects from all over the world that are choosing to live in the desert, not because it's a stepping stone to another place or because they're escaping the city, it's because they're really desiring to work in this environment. Palm Springs has always been a place for the movie stars to come and rejuvenate. Well, what's happened since then is a renaissance. <laughs>